To start the second half, Wizards with nine made threes in the first half, shot it at 55%. And a Mercedes-Benz game summary. Only two points off the bench for Washington, but their starters were simply phenomenal. Well, when you, you talk about four starters in double figures, the least of which Jamison has 17. That's the least point scored by those four starters. So it's Lodge with Haywood, Stevenson, Jamison, and Roger Mason with a 21-point first half. And Haywood misses there, and Matt Barnes with a rebound. It's Haywood's first miss of the night. In the field or the line. Six of six from both. Aaron Davis, Stephen Jackson, Matt Barnes with Chris Weber and Monte Ellis. Can Aaron get some kind of rhythm, get the flow. And that's a great beginning. Aaron with only six points in the first half. Only one made field goal. Right. It's only the second made of the night. And Roger Mason has made eight field goals in contrast. Watch it, Matt Barnes, and Barnes will pick up the foul. But after being down 23 with the Warriors' firepower, 15 is really nothing. And the difference will be can they play defense and turn the faucet off for Washington scoring? Stevenson, well played by Barron there, and Weber a good box out. Weber handling. Jackson runs to the three-point line. Both teams have been shooting very well from three. Warriors 7 of 14. And the Wizards 9 of 14 from beyond the arc. They need to work on Weber. Barron came to double. Stevenson. It's a brick of a three. Weber will track it down. Jackson, not about teeing it up. In traffic and a running right-handed hook. That was a little one on four, and Steven Jackson made it work, and you look up and 10 points off the 23-point deficit are gone. And I think he went off his good ankle, which would be, usually you're gonna shoot a shot like that, you go off your left foot and right-handed. I think he went off his right. Warriors would desperately like to get the crowd involved here. Aching in the first half, Barnes with a steal. Throw ahead to Barron. Barron runs to the three-point line and puts the triple in. And here they come. Can they sustain it? From down 23 to within 10. You got to play some D. You can't rely on your shooting every time. Oracle Arena trying to be the sixth man. Jamison Wheeling putting it in. And the first bucket of the second half for the Wizards. If Jackson had made one move toward the ball, Jamison would have been on the line. And he just came right into the defender there. Jackson right by Antoine, and Brendan Haywood was there to defend the rim. The push ahead to Blotch, and he will dunk it down. That kid and that young man is going to be pretty good. Now he's, he's long also, and he handled the ball in the open court like that. 6'11. He looked like Amari Stoudemire last night when he was coming down the lane one on two and dunk. That's Blotch's first field goal. So back to back buckets by Washington. Jackson three. And no Warriors there to rebound. The Warriors can't get two three happy. You can't go inside against the Wizards. One of the keys, I thought they should have been driving the lane. Jameson's really worked on that three point shot, but missing there. He made his first one tonight. He's missed everyone since. Monte Ellis will stop and pop, and that's been automatic as of late. I said one thing, when the Wizards and Warriors get together, it's points of plenty, and the tempo will quicken. But sooner or later, they've got to stop trading baskets here. Weber had the overplay and the steal, but also called for the foul. There's the pressure by Matt Barnes earlier, several plays ago, out to Barron. He stops and pops. He did that also because the Warriors had a little flow there. It wasn't like a one-on-four where they would not have a chance for an offensive rebound. And, of course, when those miss from three-point range, they usually yield long rebounds, and you've got a lot of people flowing and difficult to block out. Hunter Mason, point blank to Haywood, and he is fouled. 
The Warriors have not defended the screen and roll at all because as Haywood has rolled, he's had a dunk or layup or been fouled every single time. Six of seven field, six of six from the foul line. 18 for Brendan Haywood. The Kia Motors All Access VIP Experience Sweepstakes. See the Warriors take on the Lakers. Two lower level tickets, courtside passes to watch the pregame. An opportunity to meet the Warrior broadcasters. That might, he that might keep the auction price down. Go to warriors.com for all the information. And check out the Kia Motors VIP sweepstakes. I didn't know that was in your contract. No, it's uh, they get to meet you and Tim. Okay. Yeah. Got a bit extra if you want to meet me. Go to KMBR between 12 and 3. <laughs> Hang out anytime. I, they'll find you there. Aaron Davis, a little show and go, and I love the hesitation and then the burst. And then the quick release. Got it up to the glass before the big man could arrive. And from down 23, the Warriors within 12, and Barron has come to life with seven here in the third after a six-point first half. Mason, does he have a post-up game? No. A fadeaway flat shot. Jackson on blocks, the crossover, the contact, and to the line. Steven Jackson had the youngster at his mercy. Well, Jackson worked, earned himself a trip there, but the play was over, but you can see that Chris Mullen is getting in shape. Chris Weber. Or excuse me, Chris Weber. We had Mullen on our roundtable live. Chris Mullen's always in shape. Right down the middle. Now, it doesn't mean much because the play was over, but Weber went up, mm -hmm. grabbed that, and dunked it. He had some elevation, so he's getting a little bit of shape. And his timing was good, and you yes. see the good hands there. Little glimpses. So Blotch has just been the one starter for the Wizards that has struggled. And Jackson making it a 10 point ball game. The Warriors, 13 to 6 burst out of halftime. They'd love to get the crowd into it, and the crowd is wanting to get into it. Stevenson with the shot clock at five. Goes away from the screen at two. Stevenson putting it up and in as the shot clock expires. Well, Barron was forcing that way, did his job. He was expecting some relief inside, and it just didn't come. Both teams shooting better than 50%. Washington, that 72 point first half and a 17 point lead at the break. Weber just rimming out the mid-range jumper. Mason inside with a nifty move. Roger Mason Jr. Is he getting good? The 31st pick by Chicago in 2002. Played only 17 games his rookie year, 26 and then 61 last year. I've been with Toronto and Washington. Has a career scoring average of three and has 23 tonight. Matt Barnes missing from the baseline. Well, what was impressive about that last move, he's not really a driver, Mason. But he finished with the offhand, and, and he looked really, really comfortable taking the ball inside. Jackson with the overplay and the steal. And then Jackson is fouled. 